Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at the biggest Class A gas motor home you can buy for 2021. And this one is also a toy hauler. This is a 2021 Thor Outlaw Model 38MB. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motor home and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at the biggest and baddest classic gas motor home on the planet. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. How's it going? It's going good. It's been a while since we've done an outwall. Yes. So you say it's the biggest, baddest? Yes, okay. 39 feet, nine inches. For a Class A gas is insane. Well, I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to, we, I'm, I, I, we can't wait to show everybody. Andrea, let's begin. <clears throat> Model is 38 MB, but the actual, t oh, by the way, big shout outs to Mr. Andrew Steele. Bing. For taking me to the World Equestrian Center last night. What? Screen just went blank. It's okay, touch the screen. Oh, that's right. Yep, thank you so much for taking me to the World Equestrian Center in Ocala last night. We had a great time. I had no idea that even existed. Model is 38 MB, but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 39 feet, nine inches. This is the Thor Outlaw. It's it, the, their top of the line is the Challenger, and this is kind of in its, in its own class because it is a toy hauler, but it, it's the toy hauler with all the Challenger features. You have the nice big headlights, LED lights, nice big windshield, okay? Coming down the side, we do have chrome mirrors right here with cameras integrated in the left side, right side, and reverse. Now, because this is a 2021, Andrea, this does have the new 7.3 liter Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower <laughs> and 468 foot pounds of torque. Sorry guys, I'm you're feeling- on, You're I'm on feeling, the horses too much uh, last night. Yeah, 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 okay, so so <laughs> sorry guys. Look at this, bing. Uh, that was one of Andrew's friend's horses and that horse Queen Elizabeth actually rode. Wow. So that was pretty cool. Look at these tires, Andrea, they're the Michelins. 255-80R22.5. And we do have these shiny Alcoa rims. Coming down the side here, look at this, Andrea. Not one, but two power awnings. Also, wow. look at that. Two doorways, you've never seen that. That is awesome. Let's put this awning out. And let's see what that looks like when it's all the way out. Okay. Oh, I oh love wow. This. They're both going out. Well, the both buttons are right here. Now there is two individual buttons. I'm just holding them down at the same time. But Andrea, that's cool. I hate when one button's here and then the other one's in there. Just give me the button. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Wow. Look at that. So nice. Now that Very nice is awesome. Power awnings with LED lights. You do got frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome, and then right here. We have a TV and sound bar on the outside. This is gonna be your propane. Love these doors. And Andrea, all the specs and everything, bing, right there so everybody who's watching on television can see it. Oh, and I'm so sorry guys. I got recognized at the horse park yesterday. Did you really? Yep, the guy was like, he recognized my, he didn't recognize me, but my voice. And he was like, it is you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I get recognized at the dealership. You know, people know where I work. But never do I get recognized outside of work. That's so good storage. it was pretty cool. Nice. Yes, Matt, you're a celebrity. Burr, burr, burr. Uh. <laughs> no, not at all. But uh, right there, we got our batteries. Not a ton of exterior storage I'm seeing. Well, it is a toy hauler, so. Right, I mean, you're going to have the. Okay, so here's some good storage. Nice okay. aluminum slam latch doors. Look at this. I love the rubber gaskets right there, real big and thick to help keep it all, you know, secure. Right there, you do have a Thor Emblem dog tie-down place to leash up your pet. 
Isn't that cool, man? Yes. That is so cool. Just another exit and entrance. You got that right there. More storage. More storage. And you got a propane quick connect right there for More your grill. More storage and then your propane quick connect. Can't wait to climb up this ladder. No, I'm just kidding. There's uh, no ladder. I know. I was thinking <laughs> there wouldn't be. But if you step back. Wow. Notice how tall the roof is. Um, actually, if you step back over here, you see how the roof is sloping up? Yes. It's that... kind of hard to because of the awnings, but I will show it. Right. Hold if on. You raise it. it. Actually, watch this. We go like that. Yeah. And then you see how the roof is sloping up? That is to help with your toys when you bring them in the RV. And there is an awning on the back of that garage, Man, too. so there's three awnings. Coming around the back, we do have an 8,000 pound hitch. Do not tow 8,000 pounds behind this. You are safe with 5,000 pounds. Any more than that, you need to be careful with how much you load in this thing. Just so everybody knows, it is 1,000 pounds in the garage. So all you people who want to park a smart car, you are technically breaking the laws or the weight restrictions. And this little ramp door that drops down and makes a patio. And there's the backup camera. Yes, ma'am. Let's see if we can do this without fast forwarding. <laughs> oh. Okay, watch it up. Here we go now. Got it? Or do you need to go on the other side? I got it. Well, look at that. Oh, oh okay. nice. So this is the zero G ramp door for Morai. So look, like even right now, right? Isn't that nice? That is. That's awesome. Look at that. All right. Man, and now you that... got your sun deck there. Yeah. And this folds over as well and then not only that Andrea you have these doors right here screen doors right yeah that is cool very nice and again as Andrea said backup camera also there is an awning for this patio area all right and hey and if you haven't already make sure you smash that thumbs up button when the RV salesman's gonna assemble a deck try to take his fat ass up on the deck show you what features <laughs> the deck has to offer everybody <laughs> nobody that's cool it is cool finishing up We've got unleaded fuel fill up that's for your toys right there yes yeah, so you have a fuel station for your toys which is pretty cool i wonder if you can fill up yourself i don't think that's possible though i don't think that's safe Right storage. there, we got more storage. And there's your other fuel for your two tanks. Two, two gas yes, tanks. yes, ma'am. 50 amp power cord right there. All Real right. nice. Storage. Wow. Andrea, okay. Yes. Look. Look at that motorhome driving by. Ooh. That is the Discovery. 36Q with a kitchen island that today is Sunday, so that's Tuesday's video with the kitchen island. Haven't we done that? No, we've never oh, seen Oh, we saw it at the show. Yes. But we didn't do a review. Now it's time. Here's your outdoor water bay, hookup and everything, main tank fill. Okay. Very nice. Look at that. Tankless instant hot water heater. Yep. Storage. More storage. Which yes. Your 2000 watt inverter. Mm hmm. Your There's Cummins your only generator. and 5500 generator. And then here you can see your hydraulic fluids for your auto leveling. Okay. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Don't forget the cargo carrying capacity. Cargo carrying capacity. Wow. 4,007 pounds. Really? Yes. That's crazy. Toy hauler. All right, look at this, everybody. Don't, don't do the slides. All right, so as you can see, the slide is in. A little bit, little bit tight through here, but yeah, doable. Yeah, tight. 
And then you get through here, and then there's your bathroom. And then here is the master bedroom here. And then the garage. So you can go ahead and do the slides. All right, let me just get the awnings in. And Andrea, where you at? Right While the awnings are coming in, and then the slide out's coming out, we do want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor, My Waggle. Now, My Waggle is a RV temperature monitor system. Okay, and what that does, you hook it up in your RV. Sorry, I'm multitasking. You hook it up in your RV, please stand over here, and it will send you notifications via text message or email that you have lost power to your RV or um, you lost AC and it's getting too hot. It's a great system to have if you bring your pets camping with you. And so if you're an RVer and you leave your pets inside your RVs, make sure you check out the video right up here for my waggle. It's just a really important product. And also, Andrea, we have 50% off promo code MAT50, but it is only until March 31st. So here's what happened. Uh, we sold too many My Waggles, Yay! okay? Which is a great thing because that's so many pets that are already gonna be saved. And um, the pricing has gone up, but uh, the guy at My Waggles said, but we don't wanna increase the price, we just want to raise your discount from 50% to 40%. And I told him, I'm like, dude, no, we are not doing that. It has to stay at 50%. You got to give me an end date. So he said till March 31st. Awesome. So make sure you guys get one. Definitely. You got to take care of the fur babies. Yes. Let's check out up here. Okay. So this is our first time seeing the new 7.3 liter engine on the uh, Thor Outlaw. If you guys remember the last Thor Outlaw video, it was a V10. You got all your auto leveling right here, your cup holders and everything. Andre, would you like to sit in my co-captain seat? Yes. Right here is your GPS, navigation, radio, left blinker, right blinker, and reverse. Oh. And Andrea, look, whoa, 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 stand up real quick. Why? Look at that seat. I know. Isn't that seat cool? Yes. It says All the outlaw out on it. No, yeah. but it says it. Oh right yeah, there. that's true. But I mean, I remember most of the outlaw interior is this black and red. Yeah. It's something that you know is their like signature for their toy for sure. for Thor. But yes, this is nice. I like this. It's very sturdy, actually. Yep. And we have a privacy shade here, slow rise. Okay. Which is very nice. Yep. And, and then a bunk over the cab with storage underneath. Very nice. You got one more right here. Very nice. Okay, so there is a pedestal table here because both seats do swivel. Yep. And then you got your bunk over the cab. 500 pounds. Yep, 500 pounds, good weight. I mean, Andre, there's so many more uses for the Outlaw than just a toy hauler. I mean, this can be a yes. bunk bed machine. Stop. Very nice. Now this. Yeah, you're gonna have to tilt them back. For yeah, sure. for sure, you guys, make sure you tilt the seats back. Well, look at that bed, and I love, look at all, look at the safety netting. Yeah. Now awesome. check it out. Um, over here in the living room area, this is something that you did not get in other Thor Outlaws, which makes me love this floor plan. You actually get a sofa and a dinette. I love that feature. Let me get the bed all the way up. I'm gonna show you this cabinet here since I'm right here so you do have some storage above the door yes ma'am we got storage above how do you like the balances um I don't like the balances well good because you didn't like them in the yeah, last outlaw I, I, either I, 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 okay. I'm very consistent <laughs> it's okay here's the good thing we do have daytime shades and privacy shades Matt what's behind your head there you ready for this <laughs> uh uh M motif. Motif? What? I don't know. That's what Jeff Plemons said in the, uh, he said motif. Hmm. 
Well, we haven't had any motif in a while, so I'm just happy to see some. Yeah, motif and art deco. <laughs> right here we do have your uh, seating right here. This also does make a bed. That's a jackknife, right? Yes, it's a jackknife, but you have seatbelts there. And then across is your TV and entertainment center. You have your dinette here, really nice seatbelts in the dinette. The dinette does drop down to make a bed. I love it. And then also right there, you can see that sticker. It does have the internet on board, the WineGuard 2.0. Okay, I just want to show some of the, so people can see the additions here, the options that it gave you. And I don't know if it has um, storage under the seat. Oh, oh yeah, it does. does. It has the drawers. And you guys, look how detailed they have. Yeah. The little, um, I forget. They call it like nail heads or whatever. But yep. look, I want to show something really quick. Go ahead. Look how cute the slide is. Yeah, very nice. I mean, at least it's it's interesting, you know? Something else I want to point, just stand right here and look straight back. Look at how the ceiling is sloping. Yes. Up. Very good for tall people. Yes, it? definitely. Well, Andrea, now is not the fun part. It's now time for the MSRP. These are expensive. MSRP on this outlaw here is $237,450 MSRP. Sale price currently, well, this one's already sold, but we have it 28% off to $171,998. That is actually a fantastic price. But Andrea, if somebody wants an outlaw, we can get them an even better price than that, kind of. Kind of? Well, not really, because the next round's gonna be 2022s. It doesn't matter. You want a motorhome, we'll be able to get you the best price. Tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Or send me, an e go to the website, mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see a contact tab with three sections. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one, that takes you to General RV, and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions, perfect. Click tab two, that sends me an email. We'll get back to you within 24 hours, or a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Andrea, it doesn't matter what tab they pick, there is one thing that every tab has in common, They'll get the best price in America. Burr, burr, burr. Andrea, let's continue the video. Okay, here's the kitchen. We'll start over here with this cabinet. Oh, look at that. Adjustable shelves. Wow. I like that they have a window here. Uh -huh. See, they oh, at least they gave you the shade. Yeah. All right, solid surface countertop. Wow, beautiful. Oh, double sink. Very nice. Got an extension. Oh, yeah. look, it's got two little buttons. That's very nice. All right. Nice matted look, like what they did in the Venetian. Yes. Oh! oh! Andrea! <laughs> that's a $104 trash can. It went up? Yeah, somebody commented saying with that uh... That's kind of weird to get out though. Yep. I that's, don't know Well, it's that's $104 now. Yeah. So they said with all the pricing increases, the $83 trash can is now $104 trash wow. can. So hey, I don't make the prices, I just follow the rules. <laughs> nice drawer. Yes. See, got one more here. Very nice. Got a big drawer there. And look at this big Whirlpool convection microwave. Okay. That's a good size. Yes, it is. Okay. Look at this. Interesting. I, I kind of like the backsplash. I like the backsplash yeah. too. It looks good. It looks good in here. Yes. Yeah. So you get two propane cooktops and one induction. Okay. Very nice. And then you got a cabinet under here with the shelf. Nice. And then we got the residential is this a residential yep kind of small residential know. yeah bigger than an rv smaller than a residential yeah it runs off the inverter also something we want to point out the 12-year structural uh warranty six year of lamination warranty and then you got your max air fan nice okay so check this out look at this bathroom door here how it has i like the pocket door on that yeah yep yeah. Inside the bathroom, Look we at have that. lots of cabinets. Tons of cabinetry. Got a Max Air fan. Yeah. And your medicine cabinet. Look at all that medicine you can put in there. <laughs> right over here, we got the sink. 
A toilet paper holder, that right there. Okay. Let me see. This shower looks really nice. Oh my gosh, Matt. People that are really tall, that uh, is this very the tall, tall. Yes, yes, yes. This certainly does pass the tall test. And then, I don't know about the prime poop position test. Uh oh. Mm, it's porcelain. Paper. Yeah, the toilet paper it's, holder might be in a bad spot. It certainly is. Imagine when there's a little toilet paper on there. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing on it, and I'm already on it. We have to fail it, but it's okay. It's not like a big fail. All you gotta do is take this out and remove this. You hear that, Steve from Thor Motorhome? <laughs> By the way, guys, big shout out to Steve. He, him, and Joe Mullins from Coachman is the only um, people who are from the manufacturers that are replying to your comments. So if you have any questions, leave down below. Steve from Thor Motor Coach is commenting. But Steve, <laughs> you gotta move that. So. <laughs> If you didn't know, now you do know. All right, look at the big entryway into the master bedroom. Wow. Have a pocket door there. Wow, again with the height, it's unreal. I know, well look, let me show this ceiling because really you have to be in one of these to appreciate it. But I mean, there's so much space in here for hey, its height. This is. Oh. This. Wait, let me get up close to that. It's Art Deco. No. Oh. But okay. it is an interesting piece of art. Yeah, for sure. And then you got a queen size bed here, Matt. Yep, queen size bed. You got USBs on both sides with the windows. It is a Serta mattress. We got storage above right there. Very nice. I love how it's all also supported by the pistons. Okay. Windows on both sides. Yep. And what's great is even though there's a double slide out, um, you did I not have think. to tilt the bed up. Yeah, I don't think that's is that storage? I don't think it is. No. Yeah. You did not have to tilt the bed up for the slide outs to come in. We got big storage over here. Nice wardrobe. And oh, behind the TV too. Yep. And then look at look at the drawers that you have. You got three there and how many on the other side? Four? Yeah. What's this for? That's a light switch. Oh my. Oh, slow sh oh electric shade. Look shade. At that. Is that not cool? That is pretty cool. I'm seeing this button. I'm like, what the heck's that for? So if it you do. It makes sense because you don't want to really have to pull it all the way down. Well, no, not only that. If you have guests, you know, you don't want them, you know, looking into your bedroom, watching you while you sleep, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, they'd have to. If they have right. to go to the bathroom, they'd have to come through here. Oh, true. No, no, they have their own door so they can use the bathhouse. And then you have a step down into the garage area. Again, I'm not trying to be mean, y'all. One, okay, well, one I lied, okay. 1450, so the Class C is 1,000. Okay. This is 1450, it's not 2,000 pounds. You can't take, you can, even though there's 4,000 pounds cargo carrying capacity, you can't not load that up to load this up. If you're over 1450, you're overweight. If you put a smart car in the back, you're overweight. And if you get into an accident, you're just gonna, somebody's gonna sue the crap out of you, to be honest with you. Okay, hold up real quick. I do wanna point out, Matt, put that down Oh, real quick. look at that. That's if anybody's staying back here, or you got your toys down. Oh, sorry, that light is. Oh, sorry. Right, as you can see, the D-rings for your toys. Yep, very cool. And when you look up here, you got cubbies. I don't know how you'd reach them, though. Yep, those for tall people. And then right here, sure. yep. Let's see if we can drop this down. Um, watch your step. Okay, the button's gonna be over here. Got a radio here, you guys. Oh. Yep, you can show the radio on the TV. The radio, and then you got the TV there. And then, Andrea, look up there. That's yes. not your second AC unit. I know. That's your third AC unit. Absolutely, and I think that's like a pull-down desk or. Uh, it's just like a little wet work. Yeah. Station. So then watch this. This is going to stop in a second. The top bed. Right there. Oh, wow. This gives you like two sleeping spaces. I mean, technically. Right. Four. Four comfortable sleeping spaces, okay? Check this out. You have the main bed. You have the bunk over the cab. Right. You have this bed and this bed. I don't consider the dinette or the sofa real sleeping. Right. Because those are for little kids. 
But look, that's good enough. And, and then, then up here. Yeah. I mean, look at that. It has cup holders over there it, too. It's so nice. And then check this out. This does flip up. To make seating. Yep. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I like the white stitching better than the red stitching. And so you can also set this up to stay up. So you can use this as your dinette when it gets a little lower. And then there's also a table that comes with it as well. And then finishing all it up. Well, actually, Matt, I want to show this real quick, just yeah. so people know. They actually gave you a rug too. Oh, nice. Right here, which is pretty cool. It's, it's like that indoor or that outdoor type of rug. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna make me crawl under here? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Finishing up, Andrea, we're gonna finish with this awesome patio area. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. That's the Thor Outlaw 38 MB. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about the Thor Outlaw and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Three things we dislike about it. Okay. Do you wanna go first? Um, you can go first. Okay. Nah. Well, I'll go first. Okay, you go first. Okay, so I'm not a fan of the dark interior colors. Yep. Um, but I understand it does go with it because it is kind of a, this is a beast of a motorhome. Because it it's is. A toy hauler. Right, and they, they're, I just, they're I targeting, don't... listen, they're targeting the motorcycle guy, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the, the yeah. racetrack guy. Right, those balances gotta go, but that's my uh, my huge dislike probably is is the the balances and the dark interior. Yeah, so to go back to this, that they, they, they're they're going after the NASCAR market, the race car market, but I feel like this motorhome is so good that you shouldn't limit it to the one demographic. Yes, you should have options for colors of, for different colors. Exactly. Choices. Like imagine like. This outlaw in like a wind sport or a hurricane finish, that looked really good. Oh yeah. Okay, so that is one. That's one. Um, I also have a dis another dislike. Okay. So they don't have designated sp space in here for a pantry. Okay. Um, look at truth, this. Truth, truth. Look at this. You would, you can bring so many people with you. Well, I mean, with seatbelts, yeah. You have a lot of sleeping space, big families, just, you know there's not a pantry space for food so where do you put it right okay that's number two and i have a number three right and and i listen folks we never do this on the show i just want to put this into perspective for some people right um this motorhome's 40 feet long it's a hundred and seventy thousand dollars right uh, so let's call it 160 for e no 180 for easy, easy math, right? 10 feet of that is dedicated to the garage. So a lot of people are like, well, I don't want to tow a lot of, a lot of times people are attracted to the outlaw for the wrong reason. They say, well, I just don't want to tow anything behind my motor home and I want to bring my motorcycle. And it's like, you got to think, don't get it because of that reason, because at $180,000, you just spent $45,000 of your RV to transport your motorcycle. You right. know what I'm saying? That's the wrong reason to get this motorhome. Um, because you could spend $5,000 on a trailer and pull your motorcycle behind you. You know, whereas if this is what you're looking for, if you love the patio, you love that that drops down, you love all the different sleeping areas. You're bringing more than one bike. You're bringing a bike and an ATV or a golf cart, and and you're really sure that the outlaw works for you. Then I love that. So that might not make a lot of sense, but what I'm trying to get at is the price point. You can get a Thor Challenger for you know twenty thousand, thirty thousand less, and you're still getting all the quality if you don't want to, if you don't mind pulling a trailer behind you. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Totally. But it's just a little expense. It's it's the biggest class. This Class A gas is more than the sports coach we showed you the other day. Oh, yeah. So that's just one of my dislikes. Sorry. Now, that's three things we don't like. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. You ready for this? Sure. I love this garage. Who wouldn't? This is <laughs> ba big, bad, and awesome. I don't want my negative of the price point to anyway affect how badass this motorhome is. Andrea, 
This motorhome is badass, it is. ain't it? Two doors and a garage. Yes. And a sun deck. Yes. Three awnings. Yes. Three, four big comfortable sleeping areas. I love that. Also, as Andrea said, I love the fact that there's just a second door. It's just another exit in case of an emergency. Right. Very nice. Andre, that was like six likes, but I know. <laughs> that's number one. Give us the number two. Okay, I gotta say, I love the roof. I yes. love how you have the extended height in here. Yes. Also, people that are really tall that have a hard time even fitting in class eight. Right, 6'5 six or 6'6, six, six, folks. This height is incredible. Yep. I mean, this is probably the tallest, definitely, I've ever seen. Yes. Look yes. At that. So big. So tall. So nice. Um. So that's two. And then. Oh, outside. Join me outside. Number three, I love the big power awning with LED lights. It is so nice. I love how they gave you two. And this is going to sound stupid, but I do this every day. I love how both buttons were right there. I don't want to hold for a minute to get one awning in and then go walk all the way down the other side yes. and hold for another minute. It's very practical. I just want to push them both at one time. Well, that's it, Andrea. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this outlaw, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell number or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. This outlaw is already sold, but we can order you another one. Uh, don't know if we can honor the same price for 2022, but we will try our best. Andrea, do you have anything you want to say? Yes. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Can you see me? Yeah, put your glasses on. Oh yeah, true. We live in Florida. Yep. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Thor does read the comments, you guys, so they are interested to see what you have to say. Also, you guys, uh, my waggle. Yes. Don't forget to get one of those for your furry pets. Before March 31st. Yes, because it is 50% off, so put in code MAT50. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thank you, Andrea. We'll see you next time.